Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss 01 video. And today we are back in X Plane. We have spawned into Lukla, which is a very dangerous airport. And obviously, since we are at a very dangerous airport, we also are going to talk about a very, very dangerous plane today. Today we're going to talk about this plane. This is the Let L410 Turbo Let. And this is probably the first plane that we spawn at Lukla, which is able to operate at Lukla for the first time. That's really a first timer. Very interesting. Let's just take this plane off first. Now, the manufacturer of this plane is Let Kunovis, which is, by the way, a Czech aircraft manufacturer. It's from the Czech Republic. Czech. And yeah, this plane is Slavic, to say the least. And what I mean by Slavic is that it is very tough. It is very, very tough. It can take off on short runways, rough runways, grass runways, no runway, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it can land on water. I could kind of believe this plane to do so. It flies at very dangerous areas. Like Lukla, maybe. Normally, they only fly with twin otters here, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they also used the Let plane in the past. Maybe let's land. Just come in for a landing. I think this plane should also be a very, very quick stopper. Oh, we have forgot about landing here. Okay, that might have not been very successful, but that is kind of the topic of this video because this plane is considered as one of the most dangerous planes, which is why actually a lot of people requested me to make a video about this plane. Let's go to Courchevel. Let's try to land there. It should not be that much of a problem. We kind of have to define what makes a plane dangerous. Normally, you rate the safety of an aircraft by crashes per flight hour, which makes sense, but this plane is only the most dangerous plane when it comes to to overall crashes. In fact, this plane had around 116 <laughs> fatal incidents. But actually, just because of that, this plane does not really count as the most dangerous plane yet. Actually, this plane has been around for quite a while. This came out in the 70s. As you can kind of tell by the cockpit, this is not a modern glass cockpit, no modern avionics. This is really just, you know, a, a six pack that you have in front of you. Just a, a watch store, basically. So this plane has been around for a while and there have been a lot of these planes produced. Actually, 1,200 numbers of this aircraft were built already. Even though I don't know if they still built them, but whatever. There are a lot of planes flying around. Another factor that plays in, this plane operates on very, very small runways. Short runways, dangerous runways. And so a lot of turbolet crashes are caused by human error. Now, I'm pretty sure there were some let planes operating at St. Bartholomew before. Maybe this is even a lat plane. No, that, that's not a lat plane. Never mind. All right, let's go take off. Oh, damn, that was a very quick takeoff. This plane is pretty powerful and quite small. This plane only seats... This plane only seats 19 passengers. Let's try landing it at St. Bartholomew. Wait, is this speed shown in kilometers per hour? That is very, very distracting and very, very... It just makes me angry. <laughs> Come on, we have knots for a reason. They make sense. All right, let's come in for uh, a landing here. We're quite high, but we should still make it without any issues, right? Let's hope so, at least. Oof. Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe we will still make it. Oh, no. Wait, what? No way. No way. No, 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 no way. I'm not going to accept that landing. Actually, I made sure to very much float a lot. As you can see right here, landed very, very late. And boom, we still stopped. What the frick? This plane can pretty much land everywhere, right? Very impressive. And yeah, it really makes sense that this aircraft has been used all over the world at the weirdest locations and the most dangerous locations. So it makes sense that this aircraft is obviously dangerous. Let's try landing it on an aircraft carrier. That actually should not be a big problem for this airliner, after all. Actually, I'm pretty confident that this is going to work quite well. We're just gonna have a smooth landing. Looking good. Let's sink a bit. <laughs> uh, that was quite hilarious. <laughs> that went smooth like butter. Let's try taking off as well, which should not be that much of a problem, without using the rope to pull us. And up. We're off. We're off. This is crazy. I really like this plane, actually. You know, I like versatile planes that can take off everywhere. And let's try some really, really challenging airport. Let's try Skyline. Skyline. There it is. That is a very, very, very short runway. 700 meters. Rough runways. We're between trees and stuff. <laughs> Interesting. Now, this thing also operates in extreme weather conditions as well. From 50 degrees Celsius to negative 50 degrees Celsius. Jesus Christ. This plane can pretty much do anything. Wait, let me just try. Probably nothing will really happen anyway if we go... Oh, 
Let's go for, uh, minus 23 degrees. That's not a challenge for this one. Let's try one, minus 100 degrees. Change weather. There we go. I can imagine that now this plane is even able to take off even quicker because reasons. Let's try landing it without gear because it shouldn't be an issue either. There we go. Just between trees because this plane really does not care. This is a really tough plane. I don't think it deserves to be the most dangerous one. That reverse rust is actually very strong as well. And... Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> nice. Now let's try another airport. Now there are also cargo versions of this airplane. Yeah, Saba Airport really needs some uh, restoration, I would say. But this plane has no issue with this airport either. <laughs> no way, that just worked. Okay, maybe physics have actually left the chat. I cannot imagine that this actually worked. I mean, these turbo prompts have like 800 horsepower each. They are pretty damn strong. There's actually no runway that this plane cannot take off or land at oh no but yeah you can definitely say this plane was still a very big success of 1200 planes built that is quite a lot and this plane is pretty cool and it's still flying even after all those years so yeah guys thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you tomorrow as always good night